Welcome back to Wasteland 3. So, let's continue where we left off. In the previous episode, we had some interesting initial encounters. And we killed the deserter. Because damn right we did. Uh, okay, yeah, this looks interesting. <laughs> Whoops, that guy had a bad day. All right, all right. Ooh, a rocket. And some ammunition. And yes, we should definitely heal Bear up a little bit. Let's do that really quick. Because you don't just heal automatically when combat ends. Oh, no, no, no. That would be too easy. All right, there is an enemy in here. So there is actually a way to kill it. Hold on. I'm not sure if I have the skills for it. I think so. That should do it, I think. Yup. Well, there we go. And that's because we had mechanics. I would not be able to do that without mechanics. And it will actually drop some loot. There we go. Machine turret, quick slot item. That requires two points in mechanics, but we will get two points in mechanics. So hey, that is quite useful. I'll take it. Alright, let's check the corpse. Uh, nothing to see there. And the pile of corpses. Yep, nothing to see there either. Alright, let's move on. I'm going to use quick saves more often because we are playing on second highest difficulty with friendly fire enabled. So yeah. And if you die, then, well, that's it, you're dead. Oh, yeah, but see, I ran straight into the trap. Uh, yeah, I would prefer to, like, not run straight into the trap. And I literally knew that the trap is there, because I've done this part, I think, three times. Once in the beta. And at least once when I was testing some weapons. But yeah, there's literally, like, no reason to take damage there. And I have explosive skill, so I can disarm that as well. And we got plus on perception bonus too, which is useful when detecting things like that. Okay, yeah, there it is. So now we can actually disarm it. Uh, who had explosives again? Was it fox or bear? Let me check. Uh, that was Bear. Yep, he had explosives. So we can disable that. There we go, disabled. And we got the weapon crate. We got a smoke grenade, we got flamethrower ammunition, and we got a flamethrower. Not sure if I'm going to use it right now, but this is a big gun. And we do have big gun skills, which means I have an alternative weapon right away. That way, if we run out of ammunition for this one, we can switch to the flamethrower. Or we can use the flamethrower, like, to preserve ammunition. Because, as I said earlier, ammunition is not unlimited. Alright then. So this one requires lockpicking, but you can also just literally shoot it. But yeah, we don't have lockpicking. You can just shoot the gate and destroy it. That works. We got armor. Yeah, let's take that. And we'll equip that right away. So armor. We also have a hat. Oh, that's nice. 
I think that's some kind of bonus. Well, hi, Will Worried. Looks quite good as well. So that's like plus one to every attribute. That is nice. Well, there we go. So, let's move on. Oh yeah, might want to disable the generator. Or rather, enable. And let's save. Drink to gain plus 25% melee damage for 36 turns, but suffer minus 2 AP for 60 turns afterwards. Yeah, we don't have melee, so that's not quite useful, but yeah, that's interesting. And no traps here. Plus 3% critical chance. Okay. Let's use that. On bear. With the machine gun. Alright, onwards. Ammunition box. Medical crate. Another ammunition box. Yeah, the game is giving us free stuff, which means we are about to fight somebody. Open the door. Well, that's why we're here. Ah, oh, damn it. Looks like we killed them all. Guess the fun's over. Wait a minute. Maybe not. Howdy, Hotlander. <laughs> <laughs> oh, as much fun as it is killing folk long distance. I like it best when the deluge of blood happens up close and personal. You know what I mean? <laughs> the rest is gonna be sorry he stayed home. He loves him some entrails. <laughs> okay, then. Who the hell are you people? <laughs> you don't know much, do you? The Dorseys are the harbingers of the deluge, the motherfucking end of the old world, and the beginning of the new. And it all begins here, you little prayer dog. What I do to you, the Dorsey's gonna do to all of Colorado. So squeal all you want. No one's coming to save us. <laughs> <laughs> well, he had a bad day. Never shut up. Heads up, Rangers. More incoming. All right, then. So now we got quite a few dots. Now we could take a shot at the oil tank. That's an option. Or just straight up shoot this fella. Yeah, we got a 94% here. Strikes. Your strike meter is full. You charge up your strike meter each time you make a successful attack. Each weapon type has a unique strike, a powerful special attack that can turn the tide of battle. Yeah, so that's basically like a super powered attack. Right here. It's precision strike. So... Well, we can give it a shot. Oh, that guy is out of range. Yeah, 95%. We have 95% to hit anyone with this. So I'm thinking maybe this fella. Okay. We got 50% chance to do 
extra 175% damage if we target the head. Yeah, here are all the bonuses that we'll have depending on what we target. So the head is the biggest chance to get huge extra damage. And it will also give us bonus damage for the base shot. We can also give him a penalty if we don't kill him. So we could reduce his hit chance by 25% by targeting his arms. That's an option. And we would have 30% chance to deal 50% bonus damage and reduce the target's damage by 25%. So targeting arms is pretty good if you like don't think you can kill the target, but it will cripple the target more or less. We can reduce combat speed, which is mostly useful against like melee attackers. And we can reduce target's armor. Let's try a headshot, why not? Okay, not quite as good as I hoped, but we tried. Okay, so how about we try to kill this fella right here? We can move into cover and then take a shot. That was still not a kill, okay. A little bit disappointing, not gonna lie. I was hoping to kill at least one of them, and we took quite a bit of damage as well. Yeah, I'm thinking we should probably heal ourselves. I'm just saying. Okay, I need to kill at least some of them, like right now. Here. That will do the trick. Now, this fella is down to 22 HP. We have a decent chance to finish him off. We need 3 APs to use Med Hypo, and I will have 6 APs left to take a shot. Let's go with that. So, chance to hit is technically only 31%, but again, we got 9 shots. I just need to do 22 damage to kill him. There we go. That worked. Okay, we can technically still move, but only like one tile. Let's prepare. What the heck is that music in the background? <laughs> yeah, the music is interesting, I have to say. Not the kind of combat music I expected, to be honest. Uh, okay, yeah, I might have to move. Yeah, we can flank the killer on the left. Let's go with that. Okay. Could have been better, but I'll take it. Backing up a little bit might not be a bad idea, especially into full cover. I can't really move anywhere and then still be able to take a shot, unfortunately. How about the flamethrower? So what's the range on this thing? Oh, we are out of ammunition. I would have to spend two APs to reload it. Okay. It seems to have decent range. Well, the oil tank would blow up, which is not super useful right now. Let's just move closer. And hopefully we can use it on the next turn. Okay, we got cover. Doesn't mean we won't take damage, but we got some cover. More incoming. Yeah, now these guys look a little bit nastier. Especially this one with like a rocket launcher. 
And this would be a nice use of the flamethrower, but I would need to move Fox out of the way. Okay, if I move down here, I will have cover, but only 54% chance to hit. I also need a heal. This music, man! And furthermore, we are almost out of ammunition. Just something to keep in mind. Let me think about this. Yeah, I can't use the flamethrower like this, because friendly fire. That would not be a good idea. We can switch to our other weapon. Well, I can just shoot this guy. I am not sure if this will have a chance to hit Fox. I assume it would. Okay, well, let's move him anyway. Okay, one down. Now, I can either take a shot or I can heal myself. Might be better to heal ourselves. We got 25 HP left, which is not that much. Or back up into full cover. Let's actually just back up into full cover. And defend. Okay. And I actually still have 5 APs. Technically I could still blow up this oil tank. Not that there's any special reason to do that. Okay, well... That's pretty effective. They won't be able to run through the fire, so at least there's that. Yep, okay, here comes the rocket. That was unpleasant. I almost died from that. What do I think about this game so far? Oh, I really like it so far. I like the humor, I like the gameplay, at least so far. Okay, let's switch back to the machine gun here. Yeah, this is... A little bit tricky, because I'm in a bad position. I need to move. But moving won't really do me much good right now. I can't hit that radar in the back at all. Uh, well, actually I can. Okay, let's go with that. That will do. We are out of ammunition. And unfortunately, I can only move one tile now, so let's defend where we are. Heal up Fox. We are out of range. Let's go with ambush. Alright. I think we got this. He's not dead yet. Can we kill him with the flame sprayer? It's kind of hard to judge the range on this thing. I think if I move up here, I will be close enough. Maybe even here? I mean, he's highlighted red, so it seems like I will be close enough. Yeah, he's burning. He's still not dead, mind you. Okay. But he should be dead pretty soon. Yeah, now he's dead. Okay. So that was less than ideal, but we are alive. And the well. And we leveled up. So leveling up grants you extra constitution and skill points to spend on upgrading skills. At later levels you also get additional attribute points. So let's do it. We got three skill points on both our dudes. Okay, I might spend one 
for their weapon skill because that gives us extra chance to hit can't go wrong with that and then for something else some utility skills first aid might not be a bad idea one point in first aid would unlock emergency response okay sneaky shit yeah bear is not very sneaky we'll want all of this eventually but right now i need to pick strategically what's more important okay let's get one more point in big guns clearly terrorizer okay new perk we got two more points i think i might just grab explosives and lock picking because explosives is used to disarm traps so that is always going to be useful and the lock picking is obviously also always going to be useful so that's what i'm thinking yeah let's go with that okay and the fox yes confirm one more in automatic weapons yeah i think i'll grab one more in mechanics and then well one more in leadership or one in first idea Okay, one in automatic weapons, one more in mechanics, and one in first aid. Done. Okay, let's pick up the load. Hopefully we'll get some med kits. Ammunition, junk, junk, rocket. Rocket launcher. Okay. Interesting. Wait, is that like one time use or what? Well, anyway, we'll get that. Uh, no medkits, unfortunately. I don't have that many left. Yes, the, you do heal up when you level up, so at least there's that. But you don't level up all that often. Can't really rely on it. Ammunition box. Yep, ammunition is always good. And here's a medical crate. Nice. That's what I was looking for. We got a medic pack. Oh yeah, this actually requires one in first aid. Which we do have. So, that's that. You to restore plus 35% constitution per turn over three turns. Amount healed increases with first aid skill level. Alright then. So, Fox had first aid, right? Yep. Let's see. Well, there's a medic pack. So, we can use that in the quick slot right here. And we also have a smoke grenade. Nitro spike. Used to revive all incapacitated squad members. Well, I might need that at some point. We also got this machine turret, but that requires two points in mechanics. Well, I mean, we don't have two points in mechanics already. But since I have the quirk that gives me a minus one quick slot penalty, I can only use either the medic pack or the machine turret right now. So let's stick with the medic pack for now. But we can swap it between fights. Alright, let's move on. I think I picked up everything. Let's have a chat. Nice work finishing off that jerk's crew. 
did you find any other survivors? Nope, it's just us. Damn it. <coughs> Damn it. Springs. Establish a headquarters at Peterson Air Force Base. Support the Patriarch, no matter what. We do that, and the Patriarch sends aid to the Arizona Rangers. We don't, and the Rangers are fucked. And that brings me to the secret orders. Oh, secret orders. How secret? <laughs> Who else knows about them? Yeah, they are so secret, even we don't know. Only me. Got them from got them from General Woodson. When we first heard from the Patriarch, General Woodson sent an sent an advanced team to Colorado, led by Angela Death. But they went dark. We have to find them. Okay. What do you know about this patriarch? Mm. Not much yet. He's the boss of Colorado. He's rich, and he's willing to share food and supplies with Arizona in exchange for a little firepower. So, so we better not mess this up. Angela, that is actually like a character you met in the previous Wasteland game. Part of the Ranger squad that took down base Cochise 20 years ago. Only one who's, who's still alive. Almost died on a mission in California, but... But yeah, that's not suspicious at all. Home. Can't believe they didn't tell you about her in training. Give me a second. Catch my breath, and we can go. Okay. Hard as one. Yeah, we don't have that. Just how bad do you think your wounds are? Oh, it's just a flesh wound. It doesn't matter how bad my wounds are. We can't stay here. I mean, it clearly matters if you want to be able to move or something. <laughs> Euthanize her. This will help. You might feel a little drowsy. I mean, I think it's pretty clear she's not going anywhere, but this is like not exactly my idea of first help. But I mean, I guess it depends on how you interpret help. I'm pretty sure she's not going anywhere. All right, do it. Yeah, put some duct tape on her wounds. Warm. All right then. Yeah, give me your stuff because you clearly won't be needing it anymore. Let's see. Okay, we got chest armor, a junk. We got some pants. We got an assault rifle. I think it's the same as ours. Not sure. And ammunition. All right then. So, okay, first pants. I heard having pants might be nice in this climate. You know, I'm just saying. Or oh, really in any climate, but especially this one. Here. I think the assault rifle is basically the same as ours, but let's double check. And no, actually it's not it's better than ours. Okay, that is a pretty nice upgrade. I'll take it. Obviously. Okay then, and I could equip a secondary weapon. So, preferably a weapon that uses different ammunition type. So, oh wait, hold on, what about this one? Well, I think this is like part of... Uh, like some kind of bonus? Well, anyway. Hold on, we have some good weapons here. I think these are like pre-order bonuses or something like that. I'm actually uh, like a backer from like four years ago when Wasteland had a crowdfunding campaign. But I think these are like pre-order bonuses or something, I'm not sure. Okay, heavy machine gun. These are definitely better uh, than what I have. So this machine gun is 8 to 11 damage. 
90 times. Same ammunition type. 60 ammo capacity. Okay, well, we will obviously equip that. We have a rocket launcher, and I do have a few rockets. This requires one in explosives. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. I like this one, but we are not melee. We don't have snipers, at least not yet. Okay, I will be keeping the flame sprayer. And let's check the assault rifles. So yeah, this is clearly better. And the submachine gun, because it uses different ammunition type. So here you go. Okay, looking good. I think we're good to go. Let's save. And I think we are almost done in the area. We still got some loot. Let's watch out for traps. Here's the rocket. Major Tomcat. Can we keep him? Perception 1. Name Tom, okay? Come on, cat. We'll catch you. <laughs> yeah, I don't have animal whisperer. We can't pet him or anything. Uh -huh. How disappointing. Drug stash. Okay. You still feel like you could kiss the sky. Your mama will be disappointed. Gain plus 3 AP for 36 turns, but suffer minus 10% evasion for 720 turns afterwards. Okay. Yeah, some of the descriptions are pretty funny. And here's another medic pack that will definitely be useful. Uh, hold on. Did I never load this? What the heck? Did I miss this? Because I do have hostage taker's key. What the heck? Not sure if I want to go all the way back, but... I thought I looted that. Uh, that's weird. No, I looted that. Wait, is it open? <laughs> Hold on, I'm confused. No, it's not. How on earth did I miss that? What the heck? Okay, but I guess I'm just going to run all the way back. Because I'm not missing out on free stuff. It's not that far away. So let's just go there. It's pretty close, it's fine. See, we're basically already there. Yeah, grenade box. Yeah, I actually didn't look that. And I do have the key. There, we got frag grenades. I could have used that for that fight. We just did. And we got injury kit. Used to remove any injuries the character has. Okay, and I think that's it down here. Yep. Okay, now we can move on. Yeah, maybe they weren't there previously. Oh yeah, I think you might be right. They throw someone like off the dam or something like that. I think that's what happened. Oh, and there's a boss box. I looked at that. Okay, looks like we are actually done in this area. Let's move on. Shame we can't take the cat with us. Meow? 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 Meow. <laughs> uh, I can't keep him. Uh, I wanted my own cat. Oh, here are some more medic packs. Oh, 
All right, let's move on. Welcome, Rangers. You may approach the Patriot. Two, when there were fifty. Cold logic says I should turn you away. That there aren't enough of you left to do the job at hand. Well, I mean, Barry counts for forty, so that I think your that's fair. Ambush was my fault, and I owe you more than explanations and apologies. So. Here Can you talk, like, a little bit faster, attention. my dude? The Dorseys didn't just attack you. They attacked my city. This one was trying to burn down our jail. If you want some vengeance for what was done to you, he's yours. Oh, we can shoot him? He's your prisoner, you can do the honors. Now kill him. Be my guest. Bye bye. Well done. I wish I could give you all the Dorseys. And maybe before all this is over, I will. But for now, let me address your immediate needs. Yeah, you go do that. In addition to this base and the aid I promised your general, I'll be giving you the resources to return your force to full strength. Recruiting, training, and equipping. It's not enough. I know. The men and women you lost can never be replaced, but it's what I can give you. I hope you'll accept it. Do we have a choice, really? First aid tool, not met. Well... Better than nothing, as long as our deal's still in place. All we want is to complete our vengeance on the Dorsey's but you want to say no to your help? Okay, well, let's stay on his good side for now. It's not like we have a lot of allies I'm currently. Going to find you so amenable. I hope that means we're going to get along. Now, introductions. My name is Saul Buchanan. I think we should I have started from that. the name, but maybe that's but just me. Some who disagree. This base is your new home. From here, you'll aid my people and, more importantly, do the job I brought you here to do. Also, nice hammer. <laughs> I just noticed. Yes, Joe. Pardon, Patriarch. It's Daisy. An update on the Garden of the Gods? All right. Sorry, Rangers. Still putting out fires. Two of my best are waiting for you inside. Darius Kwan of the Marshals and my old friend Sergei Gretzky. Go see him. I'll be in when I'm done here. Alright then. So, let's go inside. Welcome, Rangers. I'm Marshal Darius Kwan. And this here's Sergei Gretzky. Good to meet you, Rangers. Glad to see some friendly faces. Been rough around here these last few days. Dorsey's attacked us too. Snuck inside Colorado Springs and killed a lot of people. Situation's under control now. Mostly. What do you mean mostly? Why are these alarms going off? No idea. Something must have triggered the old security system. <laughs> it's your no base. What do you mean you have no idea? Guarding the computer that shuts them off. How you deal with them is your call. Your base. Your okay, but I guess it's our base now. Angry robots. Why are there angry yeah, robots? Weird, huh? They weren't active when we looked the place over a few days back, but ah, let's talk after you kill the alarm. I can hardly hear myself think. Yes, let's. <laughs> Not very secure anymore, is it? The government you serve is long gone. You're standing guard over nothing for no reason. 
Whoops, our mistake. We'll be on our way. Yeah, I don't have sneaky shit. I don't have kisses. This base has been out of service for decades. Have you been guarding? Have you been on guard this entire time? Oh no! <laughs> okay. Well then. <laughs> that order is invalid. A century out of date. <laughs> well, it's a sassy robot. In that case, we'll just shoot them. That enemy has armor, which means that it can block some of your incoming damage. Fortunately, all weapons have a penetration stat. If your weapon's penetration is equal or greater than the enemy's armor, your weapon will do full damage. If your weapon's penetration is less than target's armor, you'll do a proportionate amount of damage, but no more than 80%. Alright then. Okay, so uh, let's give our new weapons a spin. We also have Torrent Strike. Charge up this ability, right. Uh, fire a torrent of death in a wide area. Uh, well, I would have to move to really make use of this. So there's no need. Let's just shoot them. Okay, that was like less effective than I hoped. One down. Huh. Well, one is all I can kill. I'm afraid. At least on this turn. We can still move a little. I mean, these guys are not like super dangerous or anything. But they are still annoying. Yeah, th that was a fair bit of damage actually. So I am playing with friendly fire, which means uh, we should probably move out of the way first. Let's do that, shall we? Yeah, let's. And then we can try Torrent Strike. This looks like it will hit both of them. Okay, that is pretty nice. Uh, that was highly effective. Let's turn off that alarm. Uh, can we load them? Yep. Mostly junk, as you might expect. Maybe we should heal ourselves a little. Okay, yeah, that was nice. Yep, install yourself as command. Terrible photos of your faces slowly appear on the screen, line by line. Well, they already have terrible portraits, so I think that's fair. Well done, Rangers. Good to see the place up and running. Now, where were we? Oh, yes. The reason you're here. As you may know, I have a daughter and two sons. Liberty, Valor, and Victory. Two of them conspired against me, and the third blackens the Buchanan name with every breath he takes. Consequently, I banished him. They've been skulking in the shadows ever since, but lately there's been rumors that I'm on my last legs. Lies, of course. But apparently my dear children believe them, and they've started making new plans. Are you asking us to become assassins? So you need us to round them up. Ain't you smart. I'm not worried about my children defeating me, Rangers. They won't. Not even Liberty. What worries me is the destruction they'll wreak as they fail. They'll tear my land and my people to shreds. They'll burn everything I've accomplished to ash. 
That's why they have to be stopped before they can start. That's why you, Rangers, have to find them and bring them home to me ASAP. And when I say bring them home, I mean bring them home alive. They're my blood. Kill them and we'll have a problem. Do I make myself clear? What if they have an accident? What if taking your kids alive is impossible? You've already done the impossible by making it here. I trust you. Find a way to make it possible. Now, let me tell you where they are. Victories hold up in Aspen. Valor's under the protection of the Gippers in Denver. And Liberty's raising an army against me somewhere out on the Eastern Plains. Anything else you need to know? We have a few things we'd like to ask about the Dorseys. Uh -huh. Sure, why not? Uh, do you think your kids are behind the attack on our convoy? Possibly. But I know the Dorseys from the old days. They don't take orders well. Then again, I wouldn't have guessed they'd have the guts to attack both you and Colorado Springs at the same time. So somebody put some fire in them. The last dregs of a treacherous family. Thought I'd wipe them out years ago, but... <sighs> Mistakes linger, Rangers. I know that better than most. Okay. Why do you say the ambush was your fault? My staff and I coordinated the details of your arrival using coded transmissions on radio frequencies we thought were secure. You thought? Obviously, they were not. And you paid for it. I take full responsibility. Yeah, you know that. All right, Good. enough about that. What else do you need? We need more background on what your you kids. So, for one thing, you must have plenty of competent people in Colorado. Why ask us to deal with your children? Divided loyalty, that's why. I trust my guards, but they don't leave my side. Ever. Everybody else. Everybody else is making plans for when I'm gone. The hundred families, the gippers, the marshals, they're all out for themselves. And they know my kids would make good figureheads, give them some legitimacy. I don't think I want that information, bagel headbutt. <laughs> Any Coloradan I send to bring Vic, Val, and Libby back home might think they'll get a better deal elsewhere. But not you. I'm the only one who can save your people. Nobody else can get supplies to Arizona before they starve to death. That's why it's you who's doing this. You've got the only loyalty that works. The loyalty of self-interest. Well, he's not wrong, I guess. So what should we know about victory? Mm. Boy's never been right in the head. Since he was a baby, he'd torture cats, terrorize the servants, set the house on fire, and he's only got worse. The things he's done to the women he finds. Anyway, I finally had enough and put the little monster under house arrest up in Aspen. I guess they weren't prepared because he escaped a while ago and then came back with a gang of freaks and turned the place into a slaughterhouse. Now he's on the radio laughing about what he's gonna do to his hostages and daring me to come after him. He, uh, claims he's captured some rangers as well. All right. There were other survivors from our convoy. That's great news. Don't get your hopes up. Vic likes to play with hostages. Might not be much left by the time you find them. What kind of money is Valon? Uh, soft, spoiled, fiddled with computers all day instead of learning the arts of diplomacy and war. Finally packed him off when he accidentally crashed my security systems right before his sister's little coup attempt. Made him my official ambassador to the Gippers, hoping he'd do to their systems what he'd done to mine. That was a mistake. He took his revenge by convincing him to cut off oil shipments to my city. 
No oil means no heat, no light, and no food for my people. So getting Valor back and resuming oil shipments from the Gippers has to happen now. So Valor isn't dangerous. No, but the Gippers are tough and well armed. And Denver's a death trap. Okay, and the Liberty? Liberty's got more brains and cunning than both her brothers put together. She's the only one who could actually run Colorado. Problem is, she'd run it as a goddamn slave state. Everyone in chains. Everyone working for her. Wouldn't worry about her for now, though. Best to wait until you got a little more firepower. She's gonna be well protected. Alright then. You're expecting her to try to usurp you. <sighs> She's already tried once. Got all the way to the palace steps before we chased her off. She's been licking her wounds out east ever since. Alright. You'd better. Anything else? Uh, well, no, I think we're done. Of course. Now, if you want a chance to impress me, and maybe get a little payback, that call I got outside was from Sheriff Daisy, the head of the marshals in Colorado Springs. She's having trouble rousting some Dorseys who have been holed up in the Garden of the Gods since their raid fell apart. Why don't you go give her a hand? Show us what the Rangers can do. Sure, sounds like a piece of cake. Cocky, huh? Well, cocky's good. As long as you can back it up. We have some big guns. Alright, let's move out. Alright then. It looks like we got a level up too. Yep, we have a new mission, so there's the journal. Primary missions progress the main story, secondary missions are optional side quests. You've just received the primary mission Cornered Rats, so your next step should be paying visit to Sheriff Daisy in downtown Colorado Springs. The Psychopath, level 17, okay, that's pretty high. Alright then, so we did level up, right? Yes, we did. Okay, might be a good idea to pick up some new skills that we are currently lacking. What do we not have yet? We don't have Animal Whisperer, we don't have Sneaky Shit. Makes it easier to disarm alarms, evade the detection, spot hidden objects and damage unaware enemies. A weird science is used for like a special type of weapons, so we don't need that unless we find some exotic gear. We should pick up armor modding and weapon modding at some point. Survival. A survival allows you to avoid some world map encounters. Nerd stuff allows you to hack. Uh, let's give Fox nerd stuff, that seems appropriate. Okay, one point in nerd stuff. That leaves us with two more points. New perk available, spray and pray. Sure, let's get one more point in automatic weapons. Oh yeah, that will cost us two skill points, yeah? Uh, yes. Might still be worth it though. I think it's still going to be worth it. Okay, so let's get four in automatic weapons and we'll get nerd stuff. Uh, where was that? Right here. Okay, sounds good. And then a bear. So we can probably do without the extra points in big guns for him since that will cost two points. Might be nice to pick up armor modding or, or weapon modding. Then again, I don't really have any mods yet. We can also just save points. Another option is Hardas or Kisas, which would unlock 
some additional dialogue options. Well, for him, Hardass would be the most appropriate one. Other than that... Well, there's Animal Whisperer. So, this would allow us to have, like, an animal companion. Because there's, like, animal companion damage modifier here. Allows you to tame friendly animals to follow you. And temporarily tame hostile animals in combat. Yeah, let's grab, like, one point in that. And, yeah, possibly hard us. We can pick up modding later, because I don't really have any mods just yet. Okay, so one point in Hardas, that seems appropriate for him. And then we have one more. I think I might just pick up like one more in lockpicking, for example, because lockpicking will always be useful. Uh, brawling is an option. We could have a melee weapon on him in addition to uh, like a big guns. But then I would have to invest quite a lot into that in the future. Could always just get one additional point in Hardas, you know, to unlock more dialogue options still. Or one more point in Animal Whisperer. Let's get one more point in Hardas, why not? Okay, and that's going to be it for now. Uh, we also have some attribute points. We have one attribute point. Uh, okay, so... Yeah, that's a pretty important one. Because there are quite a few bonuses we can get. If I get one more point in strength... Oh, hold on, how about coordination? Uh, that will give me more action points. Yeah. That's a no-brainer, I think. Let's go with that. And I think we'll get the same for Fox. He won't get the extra action point yet because he didn't have 5 coordination. But we will want 6 coordination as soon as possible, preferably. So we'll get that. And that's going to be the end of this episode. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did or a dislike if you didn't. And subscribe for more daily videos. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.